Uh, hey guys, uh, just me today. We recorded. The way we record our videos, we have. We, we record all the music videos, and then we record the weight loss video at the end, and then call it a day. The last music video and the weight loss video had no audio when I was editing, so you get me now. We're not the. I'm the McGinty, the other one's gone. He works 10 hour days. I'm not gonna make him come out here after work just to record a 10 minute video. When we started the. Food journals last week, both of us. From what I can remember, Cameron's was mainly um, some sort of like uh, like a V8 energy in the morning. Sometimes he had the uh, those chocolate protein breakfast drinks. He had those some days. Lunch was usually like a bag of pork rinds and like a candy bar or something from the vending machine at work for him. And then at night is where he got the majority of his calories. He just fast food, um, usually a sandwich and a drink. Or a, a sandwich and a shake, I mean. Um, that was his food journal, mainly. Just And, again, that's just because he's working 10-hour days. Like, if you haven't worked factory, you don't understand how shitty it gets. Six days a week, 10 hours a day. Like, it is so shitty. <clears throat> that was his. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm actually using an app called Food Journal. Um, I'm keeping track of my own calories. I have ADD. What am I trying to say? Where am I at? Uh, food journal. Okay. Food scale. About a food scale. I'm weighing everything out. Like, legit, like, every piece of chicken, like, the rice I'm eating. Everything I'm eating, I'm weighing out one way or another. And, like, that's really helping me stay on track, as well as the food journal. The food journal, definitely. Like, if you're struggling with your weight, <clears throat> um, even if it's just me or Cameron, um, like, if you want to do it privately, um... But if you're struggling with your weight, find someone you have to tell your journal to. Like, legit, like, there were times where I was like, man, I want to go get this, or I want to go get that. But I was like, no, because I'd, I'd have to put it in my journal, then i got to tell you guys about it. It's like, you know, don't be a fat ass, Justin. But, like, so if you guys are struggling, definitely start a food journal. Um, that has really helped me stay on task, especially because i got to tell people about my food journal. That's really helping me. Food scale as well, if you're trying to lose weight, a food scale definitely helps really helps you see your portions. I'm noticing I'm eating less and less. Like, my stomach's definitely shrinking. I can, I'm feeling fuller f faster, which is really good. Still need to drink more water. Uh, and I guess I'll just tell you guys what I ate last week. <clears throat> and if you have any questions on, like, how I'm making it or, um, like, the recipes or anything like that, like, let me know and I'll tell you. Um, but, like, I don't know. Like, Counting my calories, like, I'm not eating as many calories as I should be, I don't think. I want to be right around 1,500 calories, but, I mean, it, it is what it is. So, I mean, anything under 2,000 is good. I figure around 1,500 is, like, better. Um, but Monday of last week, <clears throat> started my day with coffee. I had a bacon chicken wrap, which was literally, like... Um, just some chicken, low fat tortilla, two strips of bacon, and then I put a little bit of barbecue sauce on it. Um, I had some popcorn for a snack. For dinner was a bacon turkey burger, but it was turkey bacon. Um, in total on Monday it was like, I had like 1,270 cal or 1,270 calories, so that's not bad. Should probably have a little bit more to be honest. Um. Tuesday, I had a fruit smoothie for breakfast, so one thing, I don't really eat breakfast all that often. I drink my breakfast, whether it's coffee, smoothie, um, orange juice, that kind of thing. Um, but I had a fruit smoothie on Tuesday. Um, lunch, what was lunch? Um, just chicken, chicken and rice, sweet and sour chicken and rice. Just um, I air fried a piece of chicken, cut it up, threw it in some white rice, threw some sweet and sour sauce on it. More popcorn. Um, chicken brats, chicken sausage for dinner. Um, I'm totally at, at 1,380 calories. Um, Wednesday, orange juice for breakfast. Lunch was chicken and rice again. Had like a half a cup of coffee. And then I had Subway for dinner, and I had like a half, six inch with like a cookie and some chips. In total, that was 1,625 calories for the day. Uh, Thursday was coffee again. Um, I actually had breakfast on Thursday. I made um, 
some turkey sausage with uh, an egg and a little bit of cheese. Uh, more popcorn. Uh, and by popcorn, I mean like the little bags of like skinny pop. Like they're like 100 calories. So I just snack on those when I'm feeling hungry. <clears throat> um, then we actually, I actually had like a, a turkey loin in the crock pot with some potatoes and some gravy. That was only like 300 calories. That wasn't that much. I realized like about 8 o'clock, like I was hungry. And like counting my calories up to that point, I had like 800 calories for the day. So then I made a chicken sandwich. And that was about 1,300 calories in total for the day. Um, Friday, I had just a cup of coffee in the morning, chicken sandwich for lunch. Actually ordered pizza for dinner, had two slices along with some couple wings, and in total that was 1,500 calories. And Saturday, the last day, for breakfast, I had a jerky stick because I was doing my running around, and I stopped at the gas station. That was 100 calories. Um, lunch, I actually had a small... Um, Brownie Blizzard from Dairy Queen, which, holy shit, didn't realize how many calories were in those. And the small one was, like, the small one seemed big to me, which is crazy, because I used to order, like, the big ones. Um, that was still 740 calories. And then for dinner, I had, um, some ribs with a side of potatoes. In total, I had about 1,500 calories for the day. So, that was my week. If you have any questions on how I make anything, just let me know. Um, for the weigh-ins, I got my new scale, finally. And we were correct in assuming that my other scale was just wrong. Um, and this is actually explain a couple of things. Um, when I weighed myself, I was actually 339, which was a little disappointing. But at the same time, like I knew my other scale probably wasn't accurate. Um, and that would also explain the week that <clears throat> when Cameron stopped weighing his self at my house, that it looked like he had gained a couple pounds. When in reality, he probably lost five or six pounds, but the scales were different. Um, Cameron, I believe, was 365. I don't remember. But that's where we're sitting currently. Um, the food journal is definitely helping, keeping me healthy, for sure. Um, if I'm, if I decide, like, to go out for fast food, I'm probably going to get, like, smalls. Because, like, that Dairy Queen Blizzard was fucking huge to me. But, like, at the same time, I haven't really felt the need to go out and get fast food yet, which is really good, because, like, <clears throat> I used to just, like, oh, I'm craving this, so I'd go out and get it, but I'm not really, not really having those cravings right now, I mean, it's only been, like, I don't know, a week and a half since I've started doing the food journal, but I'm not having any cravings, which is pretty cool, um, I don't know what else to say, um, get a food journal. Seriously, if you're trying to lose weight, get a food journal. Get a get a get a, a scale. Start making your food at home. I know it's tough. Uh, definitely know it's tough. I mean, I had that pizza the other night. That was good, but like, I had my two slices and I was stuffed. So we're not. It's not gonna be a video Friday, obviously, because the audio's messed up. But it's a short week, I guess. Tell us how you're doing on your weight loss journey. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Like the video, please. It helps us a lot. If you want to start a, a food journal and you want to tell us what you're eating throughout the week, like, let us know. Like, if you just need someone to talk to or, like, we're not by any means, like, health professionals, but, like, we're going through it so we understand. Some of those health professionals I don't like because it's, like, they've never been fat, so they don't really know. So, I mean, I'm still fat, so just let me know. I'm so awkward. All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye.